Hey everyone, it is Friday and I have a really fun haul, so let's just jump right in. On Friday, I think, I hit up an estate sale and a couple of yard sales with a friend. At the first yard sale, I picked up another one of these. It was just a dollar. It had the birds, but I don't need them. How perfect do they look together? These are both now sitting on my kitchen table. Wait, that's not quite right. I actually found that at the estate sale. I found this at a yard sale for a dollar, and I thought it would pair very nicely with my other little creamer. How cute will these be at Christmas? But now back to the estate sale. I picked up this vintage green toolbox, and I completely blame Sally. I'm hoping to use it this Christmas kind of like this, but chock full of vintage Christmas smalls. And the last item from Friday, my friend actually found, but she very kindly let me have. And he's too big to film, so let me pop in a picture here. And now on to yesterday, because of online schooling and the way that my son's classes have kind of resolved themselves, he does not have any math at all in the entire first quarter of the school year, and that kind of freaks me out. I'm not great at math. I probably would not have been able to help him, and so we hired him a tutor. He meets once a week, and this week, his session got moved to yesterday. So I dropped him off downtown, did a bit of thrifting. At my first stop, I found all of this cobalt blue glassware. I believe that these may all be by Hazel Atlas, but I don't think any of them are marked. The first set of sugar and creamer. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. I think this is the Newport pattern, and I paid $3.99 for them. Up next is this lovely milk pitcher. I have seen this online called Art Deco, but my book calls it Chevron. My book also calls this color Ritz Blue, and I did pay $3 for this piece and I paid a further $4 for the matching sugar and creamer. And I should say, I think that these are fair prices. They aren't going to make me a ton of money, but I just love this stuff. Someone genuinely must have cleaned out their sugar and creamer collection. Up next is a pattern called Aurora, and I paid $3 for it. And last but not least is Modern Tone. I paid $4 for the set, and honestly, it is not worth much more than that but I do think I can get my money back and make a little bit of profit. I found a Pyrex butter dish and butterfly gold. I paid $3 for it and I'm going to clean it up and list it. I paid a further $3 for this very cute bunny chocolate mold. I think this one is vintage, but not particularly old. Oh, and I also picked up a lamb, but he must be in the car because I cannot find him. And the last item I picked up from that thrift shop was another receipt spike. This was just 99 cents. I had two listed together. I have added this and, I should tell you, I am very slowly moving all of my vintage listings over to Etsy. If you're interested, I will link my shop below. At a separate stop, I paid $2 for this very cute Santa mug. This is a Joseph Originals, but it's marked Korea, so this is probably from the 70s or 80s, and he has already been listed. And my last stop of the day was Value Village, where I of course used my trusty 20% off coupon, so I paid $4.79 for this bag of Anthropology hooks. I have listed these on eBay because they aren't vintage. I listed them for $18 a piece just last night, and one has already sold. And then I spent $2.39 on this piece of silver plate. I do try not to buy silver plate, but the engraving kind of tickled me. This was completely tarnished, but I've polished it. It looks great. And as you can see, it says runner up 1960. And I just loved that. And I think we are finally at my last piece. I picked this up for $159. It is a pumpkin planter, apparently called Arlene. And it was made by Hager. I don't know a lot about Hager. I had no idea it had a production run for as long as it did. So if you happen to know when this is from, I would love to know, but I'm going to hang on to it. And the last piece I have to share, I actually picked up from Pamela in one of her live sales, and I love it. It is this jadeite green enamelware container, and I cannot wait to find more of these. 
So that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you later. Bye.